you're not alone. And someone grabs you from behind. Yeah, just as scary, your significant other is in a violent rage and threatens you. Defend of your size, Laura Queso is here with the tools that you need to protect yourself and fight for survival, Laura. Yeah, I want to ask you a few questions. Would you know how to protect yourself in a sexual assault situation, in a domestic violence situation? Would your child know how to protect his or herself? If you're sitting there at home and your answer is no, listen up. This is desperation. It's the voice of a woman who sat down with us, a woman who dealt with a year of abuse at the hands of her boyfriend. He choked me, and it was it was a violent, violent choke. She doesn't want her face shown or her real name told. The man who she says abused her doesn't know where she lives. Let's call her Anne. And I felt like he was going to kill me that morning. It was the worst of them all. Police arrived and an officer did something that sticks with Anne. He gave me his cell phone. He said, huh, just, just talk to her. That she was a volunteer with the Samaritan House who provided shelter for Anne and eventually led her here to the YWCA to speak with support counselors like Nicole. The research shows that it takes a person about seven times to leave and stay gone from an abusive relationship. So we can come in at any time within those seven times. Through crisis services and support, training, mental and physical training. That's why we came here to the Lynx Academy Jiu-Jitsu Gym. The top trainer, a former Navy SEAL, who teaches self-defense classes for women. The only thing you know is to eye gouge, you know, or punch the person in the throat. If that's the only thing you know, chances are you're not going to do anything. So Frank believes in this craft. First he says, don't panic. Instead, if you can, establish a boundary early. You should be like, hey, stop. What can I help you with? One of the moves we talked about most, get out of a choke. Because when someone touches you here, you can't breathe. Mm -hmm. I find a finger. Right, isolate the wrist. Break the finger right there. Yes. Or how about this? You find yourself trapped underneath a person. Your instinct may be to punch. The problem is if you start the punching exchange, look, your head's against the concrete right here. So Frank recommends this. You can move sideways. What about when someone grabs you from behind? If you grab me right here, Brett, is look, hands on the ground. It looks hard, so I tried myself. Walk and push, and this gets light. Yes. That is where jujitsu specializes, is on the ground. How to survive, how to defend, and how to escape that situation. Anne escaped. And she's putting the pieces of her life back together. Now she says her future is day by day. It's a habit that you have to break, and it's not easy at all. There is a 24-hour hotline for women going through the same thing Anne once was. That's mm -hmm. for you on Wavy.com. Laura Queso, sit on your side. Thank you.